Hello everyone, this is a solution to problem 33 of chapter 24 of College Physics. Here we're asked to estimate the um, amplitude of the electric and magnetic fields of uh, the uh, power or the electromagnetic waves emitted by the sun near its surface. So in order to do this, first we're going to have to calculate what the intensity of the sun at its surface is. And so for that, I've just listed some values over here that are useful for this calculation. So the power emitted by the sun is about 3.9 times 10 to the 26 joules per second or watts. Its radius is 0 0.7 times 10 to the 9 meters. And so using the fact that the, or using the assumption that the sun is a sphere, then we say that this power of 3.9 times 10 to the 26 watts is distributed over an area of four pi r sun squared. And so just putting in the values here, you find that this is the intensity of the sun at its surface. Now, the reason why we, we are using this or the reason why we want to calculate this is because the intensity, or the average intensity emitted by or of the sun is equivalent to C times U bar. So the average C times the average um, energy density of the waves that are being emitted. And in turn, U bar is actually equal to a half of epsilon zero times E max squared, or equivalently, it is equal to C times one over two mu zero B max squared. So, First, we're just going to use this relation here. So rearranging this for E max, we find that we have two times I bar of the sun divided by C and epsilon zero, and then square rooted is equal to E max. So again, here I've just rearranged this expression here over here being equal to this expression of I bar S for which we have already calculated the value. So this is really I bar S. And then plugging in the values, um, we find that the answer for this is about 2.2 .2 times 10 to the five um, Newtons per Coulomb. So this is the magnitude approximately of the uh, of the electron of the electric field's amplitude near the surface of the sun. And then using the fact that E is related to the magnetic field, so the electric field is related to the magne magnetic field through this relation for a factor of the speed of light, we can just use this value of E max to get that B max is going to be equal to E max divided by C. And so again, putting 2.2 .2 times 10 to the five newtons per, newtons per coulomb for the Emacs and three times 10 to the eight meters per second for, uh, for the speed of light, we find that the magnitude of the, or the amplitude of the magnetic field is roughly 7.3 times 10 to the minus four, I believe. Yep, 10 to the minus four Tesla. Right, so near the surface of the sun, which we had assumed to be a spherical surface, um, the maximum or the amplitude of the electric fields is 2.2 .2 times 10 to the five meters per coulomb, and the amplitude of the magnetic fields is 7.3 times 10 to the minus four Tesla. 